The XB-1 test aircraft by the U.S.-based Boom Supersonic completed its 11th flight on January 10, reaching a speed of Mach 0.95 at an altitude of 8,985 meters. Chief Pilot Tristan Gepetto Brandenburg assessed the composite structure's capacity to endure dynamic pressure at speeds approaching supersonic during the 44-minute test. The Trijet XB-1 is a prototype that is used to refine the technologies for the planned Overture passenger airliner. The new aircraft is made from carbon fiber materials in contrast to its predecessors, the Concorde and TU-144. The XB-1 achieved a speed of Mach 0.95 at an altitude of 9,880 meters during its 10th flight on December 19, which is 10% faster than the cruising speeds of the Boeing 787 or Airbus A380. The testing program is designed to optimize the acquisition of scientific data while minimizing the number of flights. As per Aaron Young, Senior Manager of Aviation Systems, safety is at the core of the program. We always remember that a human, not a drone, is flying the aircraft, he said. The crew must resolve issues with the GPS, radio communication, and augmented reality system before they can achieve supersonic speeds. These systems must be able to withstand bird strikes. The data collected during the tests is essential for the future of the Overture, a supersonic passenger airliner that is currently under development, as neither the Concorde nor the TU-144 used composites at such speeds. The Concorde was built using aluminum alloys, which were the standard for aircraft of the era. It was engineered to operate at supersonic speeds without the need for afterburners during cruise, which enabled it to sustain a higher level of fuel efficiency. In the same vein, the TU-144 was built predominantly from aluminum. Its fuel efficiency and operational range were significantly affected by its heavy reliance on afterburners for supersonic flight. The TU-144 was faster than the Concorde, reaching velocities of Mach 2.04 in comparison to the Concorde's Mach 2.15. However, this speed was achieved at the expense of high fuel consumption, which was a result of the TU-144's dependence on afterburners. The XB-1's test flight speed of Mach 0.95 is not directly comparable to these supersonic capabilities. However, it represents a significant step in the direction of future supersonic travel. The Concorde had a greater range of 6,470 km compared to the TU-144's 5,330 km, which limited the latter's operational flexibility. The XB-1's range capabilities are still under evaluation, as it is in a testing phase. The eighth flight of the XB-1 demonstrator, which happened on November 16, was another noteworthy feature of the test flight. The aircraft exhibited stable performance at near-sonic velocities during the test, without the use of a stability augmentation system. A unique coating from the Australian company Microtau was applied to the underside of the fuselage in collaboration with the U.S. Air Force's Defense Innovation Unit. This coating is designed to resemble the structure of shark skin. The coating is intended to decrease emissions, fuel consumption, and air resistance at high speeds. The next objective is to evaluate the aircraft in the transonic 0.8 to 1.2 Mach and supersonic, which is greater than 1.2 Mach, domains. The XB-1 is propelled by three General Electric J85 engines. The Overture is a supersonic passenger jet that is the next iteration in the development of Boom Supersonic. It is intended to revolutionize air travel by combining speed, efficiency, and sustainability. The Overture is engineered to operate at Mach 1.7 a speed that is considerably quicker than that of conventional commercial jets. This feature enables the reduction of flight durations. This supersonic passenger aircraft will offer a luxurious travel experience by accommodating 64 to 80 passengers. Overture is capable of efficiently traversing long-distance routes with a maximum range of approximately 4,250 nautical miles, approximately 7,871 kilometers. It will operate at altitudes of 60,000 feet, which is higher than the majority of commercial airliners, which will enhance its fuel efficiency and speed. The Overture is distinguished by its streamlined fuselage, which is constructed from carbon fiber composite materials, and its delta-shaped wings, which optimize aerodynamic performance. The cabin is intended to replicate the business class experience by offering comfortable seating, large windows, high-definition screens, and extensive storage space. 
These features are intended to create an exclusive and comfortable environment for passengers. The aircraft will be propelled by three turbofan engines. The third engine will be installed at the rear of the fuselage, while two engines will be situated under each wing. The Boom Symphony, a two-spool medium bypass turbofan engine, is the engine that has been chosen for the overture. This engine is intended to generate 35,000 pounds of thrust, approximately 160 kiloneters, at launch, which will allow the overture to maintain its supercruise speed of Mach 1.7 after takeoff. The Symphony engine is also being developed with a focus on compatibility with sustainable aviation fuel in accordance with contemporary environmental standards in aviation. The Symphony engine is currently undergoing development in collaboration with Florida Turbine Technologies, a subsidiary of Kratos. It is anticipated that a full-scale engine core is expected to be operational by late 2025. It has been reported that specialty materials company ATI began the fabrication of heat-resistant alloy components for the compressor. Material testing is currently underway at temperatures that are equivalent to those experienced during a supersonic cruise. In terms of technology, Overture will be equipped with a cutting-edge avionics suite that improves pilot situational awareness by utilizing augmented reality displays and touchscreens, thereby eliminating the necessity for numerous tangible controls that are present in older aircraft. Furthermore, it will include an autoland function that will enable automated landing capabilities, thereby enhancing operational safety. Overture has attracted substantial interest from major airlines with an order book of 130 aircraft, which includes commitments from American Airlines, United Airlines, and Japan Airlines. This establishes Overture as a potential leader in the resurgence of commercial supersonic travel. The aircraft is a significant advancement in aviation technology to improve the passenger experience by combining speed and sustainability. High-speed air travel will enter a new era with its anticipated launch in 2025. Now, do you think this aircraft will suffer the same issues as the Concorde which lacked affordability and profitability? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.